Okay guys, so today we are going to find the asymptotes and see if there are any holes in the function x squared minus 3x minus 10 divided by x minus 1. The first step is to factor our function on the top like so. The function becomes x plus 2 and x minus 5 divided by x minus 1. Due to the nature of this function, there are no holes because there are no common factors on the top and the bottom. If there's an x, on the, x minus 1 on the top, then the x minus 1 and the x minus 1 on the top and the x minus 1 on the bottom would cancel out and create a hole. However, that is not the case. In this function, our non-permissible values are x is equal to 1. At x equal to 1 is also our vertical asymptote, meaning that the graph can never touch x equals 1, but will come close to it. So, because our non-permissible value is x equals 1, our vertical asymptote is also equal to 1. Now, because the degree of the top is x squared with a degree of 2, and the bottom is x minus 1, the degree is equal to 2 over 1. When the degree of the top function is greater than the degree of the bottom function, a slant asymptote occurs. In order to find the slant asymptote, we simply divide the leading coefficient of the top function by the leading coefficient of the bottom function, and in this case, the slant asymptote is equal to 1 divided by 1. Therefore, There's this, the slant asymptote is equal to 1x. Now we also need to find the y-intercept of the slant asymptote. In order to do that, we take our term x squared minus 3x minus 10, and we divide that by x minus 1. So that is expressed as 1 minus 3 and minus 10. However, for finding the y-intercept, the constant term negative 10 is irrelevant. So we can just cross that off. So what we have is 1, we bring our 1 down, in order to do, and we get 1 times 1 is equal to 1, negative 3 plus 1 is equal to negative 2. The negative 2 is equal to our y-intercept of the slant asymptote. So the slant asymptote, fully expressed, is equal to 1x minus 2 or equal to x minus 2. Thank you for watching.